dear students hope this lecture find you well you are welcome again in the section of pathogenic cocci after we talking previously on the gram positive cocci staphylo and staphylococca and streptococci we will talk on the uh, gram negative cocci i will starting with me uh, meningococci the meningococcus nasira meningitis was isolated from the cerebrospinal fluid of patients with meningitis and studied in details in 1887 by Wischelpom. At present, the organism is classified in the genus Nasiria within the family of Nasiraceae. As you know, meningitis is the inflammation of the meninges in the brain. And the, uh, there are different causes of meningitis like viral, bacterial, fungal, parasitic and other causes of meningitis. In this lecture we concentrate on the bacterial causes of meningitis and uh, I will concentrate here on the or Neisseria meningitis. Regarding the morphology of this bacterium, the meningococcus is a coccus 0.61 micrometer in diameter resembling a coffee bean and is found in bears. The organism is gram negative. There is a distinct form of pneumococci and meningococci. These form as the concave edges while their external slides are convex. Okay, as we will show in the following photos. Spores, capsules, and flagella are not formed in this bacterium. While in pure culture, meningococci occur as either tetrads, rubaiyat, in fowls, and in pus, they are usually found within the least frequently outside the leukocytes. As you, as you know, the Neisseria, Neisseria, Neisseria and the uh, Neisseria, either meningitis, meningitis or gonorrhea, are intracellular organism. What does it mean by that? It they are located intra, intracellular, intra the polymorphonuclear leukocytes. The guanine plus cytosine ratio or content in the DNA range from 50.5 to 51.3 percent. Now, in culture smears, they appear as small or very large cocci, which are seen singly or in pairs or in tetrads, tetrads or forks. Meningococci may vary not only in shape but also in their gram reaction. Thus, uh, we uh, so mostly we showing the Neisseria as a gram negative cocci, but in some circumstances we can show Neisseria as a gram positive, which take purple or blue color, while it is originally uh, they are a gram negative cocci which must appear reddish in color. Now in this photo or, or image you are showing the typical typical morphology of Neisseria as kidney like shape kidney like shape and as you show here uh, the location of this bacterium inside the macrophage as intracellular thus this type of infection cause intracellular infection because they are found inside the macrophage also in bus when, when when we are doing smear from bus we can show the intracellular location of this bacterium clearly inside the polymorphic near liquid size as you show in this in this cell and also in the cells Regarding the cultural characteristic of Neisseria, the meningococcus is anaerobic or facultative anaerobic. It can grow in the presence or absence of oxygen and does not grow on common media. It grows readily at pH 7.2 to 7.4 on media to which serum or acetic fluid has been added. The optimum temperature for growth for growth is 32, 36 to 37 centigrade, and there is no growth at 22. 
Micro the microbiologist use a peptone blood based medium in a moist chamber containing 5 to 10 percent carbon dioxide. Why we are use 5 to 10 percent carbon dioxide? Because this bacterium is classified as capnophilic microorganism. The term of capnophilic microorganism refers to those organisms which requires a low uh, percent, like 5 to 10 percent carbon dioxide to grow. Thus, it is called capnophilic microorganism. All media must be warmed to 37 degrees prior to inoculation, as the organism is extremely susceptible to temperature above or below 37 degrees. Okay. How this bacterium appearing on the solid media? On solid media, the organism form fine transparent, as you show in the following slide. Fine transparent colonies measuring 2 to 3 micrometer in diameter, while in serum broth, they produce turbidity and precipitate at the bottom of the test tube. And after 3 to 4 days, a pellicle, a pellicle will reach out الغشاء الرقيق واللي هو يتكون على سطح البروث على سطح الميديا البلق من الجوكوكاي can be adapted to simple media by repeated subculture on media with a gradual change from the optimal protein as I uh, talked previously on solid media this bacterium appear as fine transparent as you show here transparent colonies or Neisseria meaning it is on the blood-based agar. Also, you can show this here, this here markedly. Regarding the fermentative properties of this bacterium, many cocci do not liquefy gelatin, cause no change in milk, and ferment glucose and maltose with acid formation. Regarding toxin production, the minijo cocci or nicerum minijitides produce toxic substances which possess properties of exo and endotoxins. The disintegration of bacterial cells lead to the release of a highly toxic endotoxin. Endotoxin. As you know, the endotoxin is produced from gram negative bacteria, as we show here. Minijo cocci readily undergo autolysis which is accompanied by accumulation of toxins in this media. And the Nacerum meningitis toxin is obtained by treating the bacterial cells with distilled water, or turn normality solution of soda, or by heat autolysis by exposure to ultraviolet rays. Now, the major toxin of meningococca and Nacerum meningitis is its lipo-oligosaccharide. Please to concentrate here. The lipo oligosaccharide is in Neisseria meningitis is replaced by uh, by lipopolysaccharide, which which is occurs mostly in the other gram negative bacteria. Here, lipo oligo, not poly, lipo oligosaccharide, and its mechanism is in the toxic. The other important determinant of virulence of Neisseria meningitis, it's antiphagocytic polysaccharide capsule and the fimbria are vector of virulence. Now, when we talk on the antigenic structure and classification of uh, Neisseria meningitis, we can classify the meningococci in the serological classification to A, B, C, D, H, I, K, L, X, Y, Z, 29E, and W, 135 serogroups. One, when we talk to the, uh, the fractions of meningi meningi meningococci, carbohydrate C, which is common to all the meningococci, protein B, which is found in gonococci. Protein B is a characteristic of Neisseria gonorrhea, and type 4 streptococcus pneumonia, and a third fraction with which the specificity of meningococci is associated. These, I will, uh, I will talk on this serological group, and the type A, B, C, Y, and W, 135 are dominant. Uh, please, to uh, revealing that the organisms are characterized by intraspecies variability, and a change of type takes place at cell. 
Now, uh, as you know, the Nasiri meningitis or meningococci uh, is mostly resistance to some factors, as we will talk here. The meningococcus is microbe of low stability and is and destroyed by drying in a few hours by heating to temperature of 60 centigrade and it is cold in 10 minutes and 80 centigrade in two minutes when it treated with a percent phenol the uh, culture dies in one minute the organism is very 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 sensitive to low temperature okay thus Bearing this in mind, test material should be transported, transported under conditions which protect the meningococcus against cooling. Why? Because these microorganisms are very sensitive to low, to low temperature. Okay? Now, in the section of pathogenesis and disease in man, people suffering from meningococcal, meningococcal infection and carries our sources of diseases. The infection is transmitted in the air doublet route and the causative agents is localized primarily in nasopharynx. From here, it invades the lymph vessels and blood and causes development of bacteremia. Then, as a result of metastasis, the men meningococcus bursts into the meninges, meninges and produces acute biogenic inflammation in membranes of the brain and spinal cord, like nasopharyngitis, meningococcal meningitis, and blah, blah, blah. The disease usually arises steadily with high temperature, and uh, especially in the occipital muscles, severe headache, and increase in sensitivity. The later paresis of the cranial nerve develop due to increase the intracranial pressure. Dilatation also of the pupils, disturbances, accommodation, as well as other symptoms may appear. Also, you must know that a large number of leukocytes are present in the subspinal fluid. Why? Because the microorganism is intracellular, it is intracellularly located inside the macrophage, inside the polymorphonuclear leukocytes. And later, after uh, uh, parting these caves with a uh, uh, spirit because of the uh, pressure. Now, in some cases, meningococcal sepsis develop. How oh, this occur? As you know, as I mentioned previously, bacteremia is the presence of bacteria in the bloodstream, while septicemia is the presence of toxin in the bloodstream. Following septicemia, I can I, I can detect clearly the septic shock and sepsis and septic shock followed by death. Thus, in some cases of advanced stages of meningococcal meningitis, sepsis may occur. In such condition, the organisms are found in the blood, as I mentioned joints and lungs. The disease mainly attack children from one to five years of age. Before the use of antibiotic and sulfonamide, the death rates was very, very, very high, may reach to 60 to 60 percent. The population density plays an important part in the spread of meningitis. During epidemic outbreaks, there is a large number of carriers of carriers for every individual affected by disease. While in non-epidemic period, the carrier rates increase in the spring and autumns. Also, body resistance and the amounts and virulence of the cause agents are significant. Depending on this factor, the spread of infection is either sporadic or epidemic. sporadic. Even meningitis can also be caused by other pathogenic microbes, not only by Nasserian meningitis. Thus, when called meningococcal meningitis, it is caused by Nasserian meningitis. Pneumococcal meningitis is caused by 
streptococcus pneumonia. Tuberculum meningitis is caused by bacterium tuberculosis. Streptococcal meningitis it is caused by streptococcus. Coniform meningitis is caused by, by coniform bacteria like E. coli. And, uh, uh, and uh, certain viruses also may cause the meningitis. These organisms, either bacteria, fungal, parasites, viruses, these organisms, however, cause sporadic outbreaks of the disease, while meningococci may cause epidemic meningitis. كل الكوارغانيزم عدا المينينجوكوكاي عدا الناس اللي من جيت اللي ممكن تكون إبيدميك البقية كلهم ممكن تأخذ سبوراديك أوتبريكس With regard to the immunity there is a well developed natural immunity in human especially in the immunocompetent persons acquired immunity is obtained not only as a result of the disease but also as the result of natural immunity developed during the meningococcal carrier state. And the cause of the disease agglutinins, precipitinins, opsonins, and complement fixing antibodies are produced. Recurring infection are rare. Okay, and then have regarding immunity, and we can show the precipitation, we can show the opsonization, and complement fixation antibodies. كلها هي immune defense mechanisms against uh, meningococcal meningitis. In laboratory diagnosis of meningitis, what is the specimen of choice? CSF or cerebrospinal fluid is the specimen of choice. Also, nasopharyngeal discharge, a blood, especially in the sepsis. And organs obtained at autopsy are used for examination. Now, after obtaining these clinical specimens, the following methods of investigation are microscopic examination of CSF precipitate. This is the first one under microscopic examination. Second, inoculation of the precipitate, blood, or nasopharyngeal discharge into the ascetic broth, blood agar, or ascetic agar, identification of the isolated culture by their fermentative and surgical properties. And then, the third culturing on the culture media. The differentiation of meningococci from cateral mycococcus. The cateral mycococcus is the branhamilla cateralis, which is formerly known as moraxilla cateralis. Nicera cateralis, moraxilla cateralis, branhamilla cateralis. This is the historical Uh, nomenclature of classification. I will repeat that. Nasira cateralis followed by Moraxilla cateralis followed by Pranhamilla cateralis. And saprophytes normally present in the throat. The meningococcus ferment glucose and maltose, while Pranhamilla cateralis do not form carbohydrate. This is the differential factor between Nasiria meningitis and Pranhamilla cateralis regarding the fermentation of glucose and maltose, while cateralis do not or does not ferment carbohydrates. And Nasiria, Nasiria uh, seca ferment glucose, levulose, and maltose. Now, microscopic examination, second, culture, and third, performance of the precipitin reaction with the CSF or cerebrospine. In the treatment of meningococcus meningitis, The antibiotics like penicillin, oxytetracycline, and uh, extra are sulfonamide, citryptocid, uh, methyl, sulfazine. All of them are prescribed in the treatment of Neisseria meningitis. Recently, beta lactamase enzyme may produce from uh, may produce largely uh, the most circumstances from the uh, meningococcal meningitis from the Neisseria meningitis against the beta-lactam drugs. Thus, other alternative drugs may be used in the treatment of meningitis caused by Neisseria meningitis. As a prophylaxis, as a prophylactic option, the prophylaxis is ensured by general sanitary procedures and epidemic control measures, early diagnosis, transference of patients to hospital, appropriate sanitary measures in relation to carriers, Quarantine in children institutions, 
This observance of hygiene in factories, institutions, public uh, prim uh, premises, and lodgings, and prevention of crowded condition are also obligatory. An anti-meningococcal vaccine derived from the CB uh, zero group is now under test. It contains specific polysaccharides. The incidence of meningitis has grown recently. The disease follow a severe cause of sometimes terminates in death, unfortunately. Now, regarding the, after I completing uh, a briefly and concentrated, uh, and concentrated uh, view of uh, points, in view, <coughs> uh, in, in view of uh, points, uh, I will talk now on the gonococci. After talking on the meningococci, that means meningitis caused by an inferior meningitis. I will talk on the gonococci. Uh, when we describe the gonococci, the attention must be bring into the gonorrhea. And the causative agents of gonorrhea and plenorrhea, Neisseria gonorrhea, was discovered in 1879 by Anisa. Anisa is separative discharge. Such its name is originated from the, the to the scientists who discovered Neisseria gonorrhea, which is called Nice or Nisa. In 1885, Baum isolated a view culture of the organism and studied it in details. Gonococci belong to the genus Neisseria and the family Neisseriaceae. Regarding the morphology, also, gonococci are morphologically similar to meningococci. Also, it is appear as a um, single diplo or tetrad, the organism, a kidney-like shape, and the organism is paired, being shaped, occurs measuring 0.61 micrometer in diameter. It is gram negative and occurs inside the outside and outside of the cells. Neither spores nor flagella are formed. It is non spore forming, not subflagella forming. And under the electron microscopy, a cell wall 0.3 to 0.4 micrometer in thickness surrounding the gonococci is visible. The guanibrasetosin content in DNA is 14.5 to 14.6%. This represent this uh, image represents the electron microscopy of Neisseria meningitis. As to show here, this represents the flagelli of Neisseria gonorrhea and Fimbria, as will we talk later. Okay. And this represents the gram reaction, gram negative reaction of Neisseria. Uh, uh, and also represents the intracellular, intra and extra cellular location of Neisseria gonorrhea. The, the, they appear here as intracellular and also may be found as extra as we show here. Extra outside of the cells, okay? Intra and extra cellular form of Neisseria meningitis may be appear and here they also, it's, it's also appear as kidney like shape. It's a diplococci. Yeah. This represents the gram stain of pus obtained from biogenic infection. This represents the intracellular and extracellular location of uh, Neisseria gonorrhea. The biliomorphism, the biliomorphism of gonococci is characteristic property. They readily change their form under the effect of medicines. Losing their typical shape and growing larger, sometimes turning gram positive. As I talk in the section of Neisseria meningitis gram reaction, and are found outside the cells, as we showed previously. In a chronic form of the disease, autolysis of gonococci take place with the formation of variant types. As, uh, as types, usually gonococcal cells varying in size and shape are formed. The tendency may yield toward morphological variability among the gonococci should be taken into account into lab diagnosis. And also the L form may be observed in the when the when the Neisseria gonorrhea exposed to penicillin because the penicillin will uh, act on the uh, uh, cell wall to inhibit it and the L form mean 
cell wall deficient bacteria. Cell wall deficient, now severe. Gonorrhea may occur under the effect of penicillin. Regarding the cultural characteristics of uh, Nasiria gonorrhea, the gonococca is aerobic on facultative anaerobic, which does not grow on ordinary media, but can cultivate it readily on media containing human uh, proteins. Uh, blood serum, acetic fluid. When the pH of the media is in the range of 7.2 to 7.6, the optimum temperature for growth is 37 centigrade. Is the human temperature and the organism does not grow at 25 and 42 as well as for example pseudomonas which can grow on the 42 okay it also requires an adequate degree of humidity acetic agar acetic growth and egg yolk media are the most suitable media please to uh, to bring an attention to that on solid media gonococci produce transparent Circular colonies, one to three micrometer in diameter, are the culture of gonococci form a pellicle and acetic growth, as well as Neisseria meningitis. It also can form pellicle on the surface of the cells, on the surface of, sorry, growth media, uh, uh, which in a few days uh, settles at the bottom of the. Now, these are the transparent form of colonies of Neisseria gonorrhea on the blood agar or on the blood base. Agar media. Right. The gonococcus processes low biochemical activity and no proteolytic activity may occur. It's ferment only glucose with acid formation. While, as we talked previously, it can ferment glucose. Toxin production. The coconococci do not produce soluble toxin, exotoxin. Do not produce exotoxin. An endotoxin is released as a result of disintegration, disintegration of the bacterial cells. This endotoxin is also toxic for experimental animals. And then in endotoxin as well as Neisseria meningitis as well as other gum bacteria, endotoxin may produce from the Neisseria gonorrhea. In antigenic structure and classification, the antigenic structure of gonococci is associated with protein O antigen and polysaccharide K antigen fractions. Polysaccharide here, while in a serum injectives, we talk on the, polygo, uh, on the oligosaccharide. Any group, a uh, non-group, sorry, specific or international types of gonococci have been revealed. Both of Gonococci and meningococci are shared and similar, are similar in, 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 in antigenic structure, are similar yes. in, in common. Uh, in resistance section, we must, uh, you must uh, observe the gonococci are very sensitive to a cooling. They do not survive drying, although they may live as long as 24 hours in a thick layer of pus or in moist objects. They are killed in five minutes at temperature of 59, 56 centigrade and in several minutes after treatment with 1 2000 silver nitrate solutions or Vincent or phenol. In, uh, in the point of view of pathogenicity for animals, gonococcus is not pathogenic for animals. An intraperitoneal injection of the culture and to white mice result in fatal intoxication, but does not produce typical gonorrhea in animals. Thus, it's not cause any type anything like gonococcal disease or something like this to animal. The bacteria enter the epithelial cells by a process called parasitic directed endocytosis. In the immunity, how the microorganism introduce uh, to site to co to co to to do endocytosis. In, in female with gonococcal, female or male with gonococcal, the bacteria can enter the epithelial cells by a process called parasitic direct endocytosis. During endocytosis, the membrane of the mucal cells retracts, pinching off a membrane-bound vacuole that contains the anesthesia. 
this vacuole had a tajweef. It's rapidly transported to the base of the cell where bacteria are released by exo, exocytosis into the sub-epithelial tissue. The bacteria are not necessarily destroyed within the phagocytic vacuole, but it is not clear whether they replicate in the vacuoles as intracellular parasites. The major protein, the major protein poor in the outer membrane of the bacterium is thought to be the enphasins that mediates penetration of our cells. Each Neisseria gonorrhea strain expresses only one type of pore, however, the pore of different strain may exhibit antigenesis. Then in Neisseria gonorrhea, can you produce one of several outermembrane protein? Well, well outermembrane protein is very, very important in Neisseria gonorrhea, like OPA, here P2 proteins. These proteins, little upper proteins, are subject to phase variation and are usually found on cells from, from the colonies possessing a unique opaque phenotypes called O positive. At any particular time, the bacterium may express zero, one, or several different OPA uh, proteins, OPA proteins, these are proteins, and each strain has 10 or more genes uh, of four different OPAs. This uh, other outer proteins is the RIMP, RIMP or P3, which is also other outer membrane protein, which is found in all strain of Neisseria gonorrhea. It does not undergo phase variation. Acacil OPA. In OPA, so we have phase, phase variation. No, uh, uh, it does not undergo phase variation. And it's found in the accomplex of pore and liver oligosaccharide. It shares partially homology with the uh, OMP a protein of Escherichia coli. Antibodies to RAMP induced either by Neisseria faction or by colonization with E. coli, a block bactericidal antibodies directed against poor and liberal In fact, anti-RAMP antibodies may increase susceptibility to infection by... Um, we will show in the later the figure of how the lipoalicosaccharide of Nasseri gonorrhea will uh, mediate production of tumor necrosis factor, which called cell damage. Now, Nasseri lipoalicosaccharide has a profound effect on the virulence and pathogenesis of Nasseri gonorrhea. The bacteria can express several antigenic types of lipoalicosaccharide and counter the type of lipoalicosaccharide they express by some unknown mechanism. Gonococcal lipoalicosaccharide produces mucosal damage in fallopian tune organ culture and brings about the release of enzymes such as proteases and phospholipases lipases, that may be important in pathogenesis. Lithalic gonococcal lipoalicosaccharide appear to have indirect role in mediating tissue damage. Not, not, not direct role, indirect role. Gonococcal lipoalicosaccharide is also involved in the resistance of Nasser gonorrhea to the bactericidal activity of the normal human serum. Specifically, lipoalicosaccharide AB tops are known to be associated with serum resistance type of Nasser gonorrhea. Uh, 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 Nasser gonorrhea can utilize host drive and acetal and acetal neuramic acid, the sialic acid. Tamam? to cellulate the, uh, cellulate the uh, oligosaccharide component of its liver oligosaccharide. It will the serum sensitive organism in a serum resistance organism. Organism with non isolated liver oligosaccharide are more invasive than those with salicylated uh, liver oligosaccharide. But organisms with cellulated liver oligosaccharide Uh, more resistant to bacteriocidal effect of serum, as you uh, talk here. There is also antigenic similarity between Nasseria lipoalicosaccharide and antigen present of human on, on human erythrocyte. Health similarity to cell may preclude an effective immune response to these lipoalicosaccharide antigens. Uh, 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 depending on what I uh, describe 
uh, you you can now conclude what is the importance of lipo oligosaccharide and meningococcal and Neisseria and meningococcal and meningococcal meningitis and gonococcal infection. Neisseria gonorrhea is highly efficient in utilizing transferrin bound iron for in vitro growth. Many strains also can utilize lactoferrin bound iron and the bacteria bind only human transferrin and lactoferrin. This specificity is thought to be the reason these organisms are so close pathogens. Now, the strains of Neisseria gonorrhea produce two distinct extracellular IgA1 proteases, two extracellular IgA1 proteases, which cleave Tishtar, the heavy chain of the human immunoglobulin IgA at different points with the hang region. Splitting or split products of neurotogen in Shitar, the IgA1, have been found in the genital secretions of women with gonorrhea. Such as what suggesting the serial IgA1 protease is present and active during genital infection. Thus, in gonococcal infection and genital tract infection, IgA1 proteases play a very important role in the, uh, in the attachment and in phasiveness of serial meningitis in, geni in genital uh, tract infection. So that Fab fragment of IgA1 may bind to the bacterial cell surface and block the FC mediated function uh, other immunoglobulin. Now, in this figure you can show here this is the uh, lumen, urethral, vaginal, and uh, pharyngeal. Uh, after sexual contact, the microorganism which can uh, introduce through or during the uh, sexual contact can entry from here and endocytosis may occur as an immune defense mechanism, endocytosis to engulf the microorganism, and after, after that, when we reach the basement membrane of the cell, the uh, uh, macrophage will engulf it, and the lipopolysaccharide produced from Neisseria here will uh, stimulate the production of tumor necrosis factor. And tumor necrosis factor cause what? Cause what cause cell damage? Cause cell damage, as I mentioned briefly. Now, uh, we can talk briefly here on the surface component of Neisseria gonorrhea that may play a role in virulence. We are going to talk briefly the antigenic determinants of Neisseria gonorrhea, the antigenic antigenes found in the virulence factor, location and contribution. When we talk to the pile major femoral protein, the contribution in initial binding to epithelial cells. P2 اللي هو الأوبا اللي قلنا عليه أوتر من بغين البروتين اللي لوكيشن مالته تمام الأوبا والبور والLOS والP3 والTBB1 TBBB2 والLBB all of them are أوتر من أوتر من بغين البروتينز now بس the contribution is differentiated from one to other here in the أوبا it contributes to invasion in the pore may prevent vagolysosome formation in neutrophil and or reduce oxidative pairs. احنا مو عندنا الفاجوسوم هنا لازم يرتبط ويا اللايسوسوم حتى يكون فاجوليسوسوم. اللي دي يصير البور بريفنت فاجوليسوسوم فورميشن. لذلك ما يصير عندي الاوكسيدتيف بيرز يعمل لها ريدكشن. الليبو اوليجوساكرايد او تمن بير لوس ليبو اوليجوساكرايد او تمن بير ليبو اوليجوساكرايد. It elicits the inflammatory response. Trigger release of a tumor necrosis factor. Also, the uh, P3, the ramp, also, the ramp, it elicits formation of, infect of ineffective antibodies that uh, block, block the block bactericide antibodies against P1 and LOS. Then, the LOS will RMB elicits to suburb elicits inflammatory response. We hear elicit formation of infective antibodies that block the bactericidal antibodies against P1 and LOS. LTBP1, TBP2, these are automobile receptors for transferrin, which is responsible for iron acquisition for growth. 
Also, I'll be, be it's responsible for a question of iron for the growth as the outer membrane receptor for ferrin. In pathogenesis of uh, this microorganism in man, the patients with gonococcal are sources of the infection, and the disease is transmitted by the genital organ and by articles of domestic use. Diapir, sponges, toilets, extra. The causative agents center the body via the urethral mucous membrane and in women via the urethral and cervix tri. Gonorrhea is accompanied by what? By acute biogenic inflammation. The direct nasseria, either nasseria gonorrhea or non similar to it is in some methodical biogenic infection, a pus producing infection. Of the urethra, cervix, uterine glands, and in the lower genital tract. Often, however, the upper genital urinal organ are also involved. The inflammation of the uterus, uterine tubes, and ovarian, ovaries, occurs in women. Vulvovaginitis occurs in girls, and inflammation of seminal vesicles, and prostate in men. <coughs> Their disease may assume a chronic cause. From the cervix uteri, the conococci can penetrate into the rectum. Inefficient treatment leads to the uh, affections of the joints and endocardium, and to septicemia gonococci. And trachomonas vaginalis are often found at the same time in uh, sick female. The trachomonas contain the uh, in the Vagosomes, gonococci, protected by membrane against the effective of therapeutic agents. Gonococcus is responsible for the gonococcal conjunctivitis and plenaria in adult and in newborn. This represents the conjunctivitis during infection or the, the invading of nasuria, gonorrhea to the conjunctiva to cause conjunctivitis. Conjunctivitis, nasuria, gonorrhea. Their disease does not produce insusceptibility and there is no congenital immunity. Regarding immunity section, no congenital immunity may occur. The antibodies either agglutinins, precipitins, opsonins, and component fixing antibodies sorry, are present. All of these are present in patient sera, but they do not protect the body from reinfection and recurrence of symptoms. The vagocytosis in gonorrhea, طبعاً هنا لذلك الريفكشن وريلابسز may occur. Now, uh, please, to uh, I will take one minute to differentiate between reinfection and relapse. Uh, dear students, relapse is the reinfection by the same organism, but with the resistance strains of the organism. Okay? Yeah, for example, if we had gonococci. Sarat and, and, uh, and female patients or male patients before three weeks. Uh, 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 and at this uh, time, the gonococcal caused by Nasseria meningitis, uh, Nasser gonorrhea. After three months, also Nasser gonorrhea can show in the same patient after three months. But here, the strains and of Nasser gonorrhea is more resistant to antibiotics than the first one before three months. Thus, it's called here. Relapse, reinfection with the resistance it trains of the same microorganism. While reinfection mean reinfection by other other bacterial causes. For example, uh, urinary tract infection uh, occur in a female patients by E. coli. After three months, re, uh, re urinary tract infection may occur in the same female but by e, by Klebsiella pneumonia. Okay, at the first time E. coli and Followed by Klebsiella. Uh, uh, Both of them cause urinary tract infection. In a reinfection, or well, reinfection by other microbial causative agents of infection. Vagocytosis in gonorrhea is incomplete. The phagocytics and human immunity produced in gonorrhea is incapable of providing complete protection. So, in a few of this fact, treatment includes measure which increase body activity. This achieved by raising the patient's temperature artificially. 
and the life diagnosis of Neisseria gonorrhea. Firstly, specimens. The specimens for microscopic examination uh, are obtained from the discharge of the urethra, vagina, vulva, cervix, uteri, prostate, rectal mucous membrane, and conjunctive. All these may uh, good as uh, may good the specimen for choice for lab diagnosis of nasal gonorrhea. The sperm and urine precipitate and filaments are also studied microscopically. Smear are obtained by Gram's method. As you know, they appear as a gram negative cocci and diplococci, and with methylene blue by Lovers methyl methods. Microscopy is quite frequently an unreliable diagnostic method since other gram negative bacteria identical to the gonococci may be present in the material under test. More specific are the immune fluorescence methods, both direct and indirect. In the direct method, the organisms under, uh, under test are exposed to action of the fluorescent antibodies. The specific to gonococci in direct method, the known organism gonococci are treated with patient serum. The combination of the antibodies with the antigen become visible with when the fluorescent antiserum is. In the lab diagnosis also, if the diagnosis cannot be made by microscopic examination, isolation of the culture is carried out. يعني مثل ما تكلمنا بناسيريا من جيتيس ناسيريا بالمنجوكوكال منجيتيس وهنا بالجونوكوكال من جونوكوكال يورثرايتيس ال culture is the second choice after specimen. The culture on the appropriate media for this purpose, the test material like pus. Conjunctive for discharge, urine, precipitate, all of them are can culture onto the appropriate culture media. The Baldix Jinju complement fixation of action and the allergic tests are also employed in chronic and complicated cases of <coughs> gonorrhea. In the treatment of gonococcal urethritis, patients with gonorrhea are prescribed antibiotics, penicillin, ampicillin, monomycin, canamycin, and sulfonamides of a prolonged action. The injection of bolivalent vaccine and auto vaccine as well as pyrotherapy in the whole introduction of heterologous protein are applied in complicated cases. Now, the improper treatment renders the gonococci drug resistance. The improper treatment the drug abuse or inadequate therapy may cause, may render the gonococci, may create the gonococci drug resistance. And this may lead to the development of complications and to be a chronic cause of uh, the disease. And uh, as a prophylactic treatment, the prophylaxis, it includes systemic precautions for establishing a normal condition of over day, every day, sorry, and family life. Health education, and the improvement of the general cultural and hygienic standard of the populations. In the control of gonorrhea, a great importance is assigned to early exposure of, uh, of, of sources of infection and contacts and due to successful treatment of patients. The prevention of albinorrhea is affected by introducing one or two drops of 2% silver nitrate solution into the conjugal sac of all newborn infants in certain cases and prematurely born infants, silver nitrate gives no, uh, or no positive results. Good results are obtained by introducing two drops of a 3% penicillin solution in oil into the conjugal sac. The gonococci are cut in 15 to 3, 30 uh, minutes. That's regarding to the uh, prophylaxis. And in spite of use of effective antibody antibiotics, the incidence of gonococci also tends to be on the increase in all countries. Yeah, in spite of use of effective antibiotics. In Africa, America, Southeastern Asia, Europe, the number of complications that's also been increased. And gonococcal ophthalmia of newborn infants, lehilaplinorrhea. Vulva vaginitis with children in children and inflammation of the pelvic organism, salpingitis, and sterility in women. 
the rise in the incidence of gonorrhea is caused by social habits. اللي نقول عليه prostitution ونسم homosexualism and blah blah. Inefficient registration of individual harboring the disease and deficient treatment and the appearance of gonococcal resistance to, to uh, uh, use. Finally, thank you very much for your listening for this lecture uh, and uh, after completing the lecture of pathogenic gram-negative cocci, hope that you are interested in the, in the lecture material and uh, very important scientific message, messages reached to you according to the pathogenesis and behavior of the uh, meningococci and gonococci. Thank you again for your listening. Thank you.